their mini masterpieces. Built with microscopic elegance, the small and hard to see life of the sea, microbes, larvae, burrowers, and they've been photographed and cataloged as part of a massive marine collaboration of scientists from across the globe. The Census of Marine Life is a 10-year program to try and uncover as much as we can about the diversity, distribution, and abundance of life in the ocean. A portion of this project, the Census of Hard-to-See Marine Life, focused on the smallest sea creatures and found them in spectacular abundance. There was one um, sampling effort in the South Atlantic that sampled an area about the size of, of a small bathroom and uh, found 700 species of just crustaceans, uh, most of which were, were new to science. Huge numbers of rarely seen species are coming to light, and scientists are gaining a new understanding of the dynamics of a microbial world on which all other life depends. Uh, the microbes actually play a very key role in the way that nutrients move through the ocean. And if they weren't there, the ocean would shut down very quickly, and the planet would shut down very quickly. Census explorers recently found that microbes form mats on the seafloor off the west coast of South America. These mats rank among Earth's largest masses of life and cover a surface comparable in size to Greece. Amazingly, Census of Marine Life estimates that all microbes in the global ocean collectively weigh the equivalent of 240 billion African elephants. All that the census has learned over the last 10 years about hard-to-see creatures and all the animals that live in the world's oceans will be formally released in October 2010. The results of this massive effort will give scientists an unprecedented new understanding of life in the world ocean.